Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to automatically import or export your Trello cards directly from Google Sheets. As there is no direct connection between Google Sheets and Trello, we are going to integrate them with the help of an integration software that is Pabli Connect. So that whenever a new row is added in Google Sheets, Pabli Connect will automatically add a new card in Trello. And you know what the best part is? This process requires no coding knowledge and any non-technical person can easily use it. So let's begin with an example. Okay, so this is my Google Sheet and this is my Trello account. Here I have created a board that is education one and this is the list to do task where I'm working. Okay, so here from the Google Sheet, I will add a new row here and we'll see whether the card has created in Trello or not. Okay, so here I'm adding a random name that is Tanvi Jen. Okay, and date is 27 zero five and twenty one okay here i'm just copying this one only okay so yeah just adding and adjusting the alignments once okay so yeah okay now i'm going back to the trello account and we'll see whether the card has created or not okay okay here it is created collect information and design publications and flyers including yeah okay so that means our connection went successful that's how we have worked okay now to learn the process and to initiate it let's type pabli.com in the new browser okay so pabli.com press enter okay this is the site of pabli here you have to click on products and you have to click on connect Okay, this is the landing page of Public Connect. Here you have to click on sign in. As I have already created my account, that's why I'm directly signing in. You can also sign up for free just in two minutes. So yeah, sign in. And this is my account. Scrolling it down and clicking on access now. Connect access now. So yeah, this, this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you have to click on create workflow and we have to create the workflow. Okay, so here you have to name your workflow that is Google Sheets to Trello. Okay, now click on create. Okay, so this is the name of your workflow. I would like to mention that I will add the link of this workflow in the description box. You can clone it and directly access it into your account. So whenever you click on create, this window will appear. This window is known as trigger window. The question is, what is this trigger? What is this trigger window? So let me tell you, automation works on the concept of triggers and action. Trigger says, when this happens, action says do this. So in this use case, whenever a new row is added in Google Sheets will be a trigger and add a new card in Trello automatically would be action. So that's how it is going to work. So here for the trigger window, you have to choose a trigger application and trigger application is Google Sheets. Okay, so yeah. And here the trigger event that is new spreadsheet row. Okay, so whenever you'll choose this trigger event, this webhook URL section will appear. Here you have to follow these steps and we will get connected to Google Sheets. What is the use case? Firstly, Google Sheet will connect it to Pabli and then Pabli to Trello. That's how it is going to work. So here I'm going to follow these steps and for that I'm going back to this Google Sheets. And here I have already created this Google Sheet. Okay, so here I'm going to add some kind of uh, names in this only so that I can tell you how it works. Okay, so here I'm going back to Public Connect and here I'm going to copy this URL. But before that, let me just mention one more thing. Okay, so going back to Google Sheets and here this extension section, just click here and click on add-ons and you have to click on this Public Connect webhooks. As I have already installed, it is showing in my this uh, list, but you haven't installed, so it would not show. For that, what you have to do, you have to just click on this get add-ons. And here in the Google Workspace Marketplace search bar, you have to search 
Pabli Connect Webbox. Okay, so this one here it is showing install. So you have to install it from here and just close it, come back to Google Sheets and just refresh it once. Okay, so this is the process. Now it will be visible in your list. So yeah, add ons and here public connect web hooks and here initial setup. Okay, so whenever you will click on initial setup, this window will appear. So it is asking for web hook URL and trigger column. So which web hook URL? Let me tell you this one. Okay, so you have to copy this. And you have to go back to your sheets and you have to just paste it over here. Okay, now trigger column. My trigger column is C. What is trigger column? Trigger column is the last column up to where you want to get your data. Okay, so here my last column is C. That's why I'm typing here C if you have D, E, F or whatever. So you have to mention it there. So yeah. I'm going back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to click on this waiting for webhook response once more and uh, yeah here I'm going to click on save and send test request. Okay test data sent successfully. Okay so here I'm just going to click on submit and here I'm going back to extensions and add-ons and Pabli Connect webhooks and this sent on event this should be like a tick one okay so yeah once more let's have a check okay it is showing the tick mark okay so that it will add the data every next time okay so here i'm going back to public connect okay here is the detail and here is the all description okay task description now we have successfully connected public connect with our Google Sheets. Now what we are doing? We are connecting Pabli with our Trello. Okay, for that you have to click on this plus button and this action window will appear. That is do this. Okay, so here you have to choose an action app and action app is Trello. Okay, an action event is add new card. Wonderful. Okay, so here we have to connect our Trello account with Pabli for that click on connect button and here, here you will be needing this username, API key, token, all these three fields. So for that, you have to go to this Trello account. Okay, here you have to log in. Okay, so I have signed in this Trello account and here I'm going to click on this AR section that is profile section, profile and visibility. And here my name or my username is visible. So I'm just copying it and going back to Pabli Connect and just pasting it over here. Okay, now API key. For API key, you have to click here. That is a token API key and can generate a token here. Okay, so here clicking on here and this is the API key. Okay, so copy it and again paste it. Okay, now here you have to find the token for that go back to this developer api keys tab and here you have to click on this token section okay now here you have to allow the permissions okay and it is safe to use so yeah allow and this is the token number or token id so just copy it and paste it in the token section Okay, now you have done with all the details, so just save it. Okay, that's how you have connected Pabli with Trello. Okay, wonderful. Now here the fields are visible, that is choose board, select list, name of the card, description of the card, position, due date, URL, source. Okay, now for an instance, I'm just going above. Okay, so these are the fields and these fields can be easily mapped in the bottom of the window okay okay in the fields of these this window so here yeah you have to click on this particular board my particular board is this education trello board here i'm choosing this board only but i'm choosing this list this time okay that means working list so for that how it could be done let me just show you and here i'm choosing this education board one okay and here list 
so all the list in this particular board will be visible that is to do task working done let me just show you from here only that is to do task working and done these are the three lists that are available in this particular board okay so that's why i have chosen this working this time so yeah i have chosen this list and name of the card name of the card is tripti malhotra so we can map it from here and uh, description of the card is uh, mentioning the task over here okay so yeah and due date date you have to write the date in this format okay that means month dd and year so month date and year that means 05 and uh, 27 and 1 sorry 2021 okay this is the date in this particular format okay so url source i'm not very interested but if you add a link of your documents or google docs or google sheet you can just add it here okay so right now i'm not having any kind of url so i'm directly saving and sending the test request okay so yeah once more have a check here name of the card description position due date okay everything is done now i'm clicking on save and send test request okay so response received that means we have got the details and we have successfully connected our trello with pavli okay so yeah we are done and now i'm going back to trello just to see whether card is created or not okay so here is the card this is the description the design task okay and it came in the list this particular list that means working one okay so that's how it worked and we connected both the applications okay so i'm just minimizing these two windows one action window and one trigger window okay so what we have done basically we have firstly connected google sheets with pavli and then pavli to trello first pavli connect receive the data from google sheets and then transferred it to trello that's how it is worked now thank you for watching i hope you found the video helpful if you have any queries you can visit pavli.com the link is given in the description box so thank you for watching please like and share the video and subscribe the channel thank you so much